In this one, we're taking a look at sample problem number two. And we have a pirate uh, walking on some kind of path. And uh, we have four questions. The first two here are on the screen. Uh, what's the total walking distance? Well, the total walking distance is just like a pedometer. And so you just take three miles plus 2.2 miles plus 1.5 plus 2.5. And you should get that, that she ended up walking a total of 9.2 miles. Now the question, how far east or west of her original position is the pirate? Well, this time you're going to have to you're going to have to figure out the the uh, components in the x and y direction. So the first thing we do is, of course, start with a picture of what her legs of the journey are. So walk three miles due east. There's three miles due east. Turn 60 degrees to the north and walk 2.2 miles. So I'm facing east. I turn 60 degrees north. I walk 2.2 miles. Uh, travel due south for one and a half miles. So there's due south one and a half miles. Turn 40 degrees west of south and walk two and a half miles. I'm facing south, so I turn 40 degrees west of that. I walk two and a half. And once again, you should notice that my pictures aren't really to scale. My three is a lot bigger than two and a half. Uh, my two and a half and my one and a half appear to be the exact same size. So the picture isn't necessarily going to be correct, but it's close. The nice thing is the math won't lie at the end. So how far east or west? So this is where you start setting up a table. I've labeled vectors A, B, C, and D. And now I want to know what is A in the x direction? Well, A in the x direction is simply just three miles. What's B in the x direction? Well, B in the x direction is, we're going back to that from problem one, it's going to be the hypotenuse times this time the x direction is our adjacent side, follow my mouse, and it's going to be 2.2 cosine 60, because the cosine of 60 is going to equal the adjacent side divided by hypotenuse. The adjacent side is bx. Uh, what's c in the x direction? Well, that's 0, because we're not traveling in the x direction, straight down. And what's d in the x direction? Well, here I pulled a little sneaky on you. This time I've gave you the reference angle of 40 degrees, and this time the x direction is the opposite side. Like I said in problem one, you got to watch. And so this time it's going to be hypotenuse times the sine, because we're using the sine because the sine is the, the component we're interested in. It's the opposite side, x direction. So in this particular case, it's sine. All of the other x moves have been positive or zero. This one, on the other hand, is heading to the west a little bit, and so it's negative. So it's a negative 2.5 sine 40. Add those bad boys up, and you get that she is 2.5 miles east of her position. Do the same thing for the y directions now. So I've copied the um, picture, and again, we're going to take a look at a and the y, b and the y, c and the y, d and the y. And A in the y direction is 0 because she's not moving in the y direction. B in the y direction is the vertical component, so that's the opposite, so that's hypotenuse times the sine of theta. Uh, in the C direction, it's all straight down, so it's just negative 1 and half. That's easy. And then this time, um, we're interested in the, in the vertical component here. That's the adjacent side, so that's going to be 2 and half times the cosine of 40. And she's going down again, so it's negative. So we add all those bad boys up. And make sure you're in degree mode. You're going to get one and a half miles south. All right. So we know how far east and west she is. Uh, then the last question is, how far and at what angle must the pirate walk directly back to her original position? Now, normally, when you're dealing with vectors, you're interested in the resultant from start to finish. But in this question, the pirate is reversing directions on you. If I was interested in the, the resultant of these vectors, the pirate would be traveling in a, in a southeast direction. But this time, we're interested in the fact, can she walk directly back? Well, this time, she's going to be walking in a northwest direction. My Rx and Ry were 2.5 from the previous solution in part B and negative 1.5 here. Um, the numbers mean something, but the signs don't necessarily. If I put the components in, uh, the legs of my triangle are still 2.5 and 1.5. And, and, and here's where you can start thinking of it as a triangle. The negatives don't matter. It's a, just a triangle. You can't have a negative side on a triangle. 
Uh, so we can just apply the two and a half and the one and a half here. She's starting down here in the lower left where my mouse is, and she's walking directly back to her, her I assume, ship location. Uh, so the uh, resultant and the angle we're interested in are right here. The resultant's going to be the solid line. That's not going to change. Uh, but the, the angle changes because she's starting in a different position. She's starting at the end of her trek and walking back to the beginning. And so I'm going to reference this angle right here that I've drawn in. Uh, the resultant's easy. It's just Pythagorean theorem again. I'm not going to show that on your calculators. Uh, take the square root of the sum of those squares. You get 2.9 miles. If I want to solve for theta, we go back to this idea of tangent. And if I bring my calculator in here and I do 1.5 divided by 2.5, I'm going to hit enter there. And now I'm going to take the arc tangent of that bad boy. And I should get 31 degrees, 30.96, etc. That's close enough to 31 degrees for us. So the angle is 31 degrees. So I know the basics of my answer here. Uh, my resultant is 2.9 miles. My angle is 31 degrees. And the last thing I have to do is put a reference in. And she is traveling north of west. And so that's how she has to walk back to her ship. Um, now, had I solved it, the resultant, it would have been still 2.9 miles. She would have started here. The angle still would have been 31 degrees, but it would have been south of east this time because that would have been the resultant of that. But I didn't ask that. I asked how far and at what angle must she walk back to her original position. So the direction of the arrow is flipped 180 degrees. All right, I hope that helps.